were two knockouts and one that the, a, we expected to go the distance. This was a, the first fight of the evening when Nanito Donaire came in against Anthony Satul in the first round. He had him down a couple of times, hard body shots. And in the end, uh, just too much for him. And the corner didn't want to see Anthony Satul take any more punishment. It wasn't going to be his night anyway. And even though he gets up at eight, Dan Rex uh, reaches the count of eight. He comes forward, but you see when he staggers, the corner throws the towel in, and the referee has no choice but to stop the fight. Then in the next fight, uh, Denis Shavakov drops uh, Roy Muklas in the uh, second round as he was hanging on to the ropes, and then he just goes to work on him, and Muklas just couldn't take any more of the power of uh, Denis Shavakov. And that scored as a third round technical knockout victory for Shavakov. Muklas just couldn't continue, and the fight is waved off. Dennis and a terrific Shavikov. win for Denis Shavakov. Then in the fight you just saw, the crowd was in anticipation that we might have a Chinese champion, and they were looking forward to, uh, you know, good things happening, and that kind of set the pace for the night when Cuenca was able to put Yang up against the ropes with a punch and uh, actually drop them and later on in the fight that would be returned by uh, getting knocked down in the fifth round and in the final uh, analysis he went on to win just about every round the rest of the way out and won the fight by unanimous decision and therefore wins the IBF Junior Welterweight Championship of the World a terrific boxing performance for Cesar Cuenca.